A very good evening and welcome to one of the most iconic arenas in British boxing, York Hall in East London. It's a venue that's seen many of the greats pass through its gated doors victorious since opening in the 1920s. And tonight the best of British boxing gets set up for a night of five-star calibre fighting. And tonight we bring you a date with destiny. On a night where British boxing will play its small tribute to the great one Muhammad Ali after his passing age 74. The young blood of British boxing will want to flex their muscles and I'm sure win one for Ali, the man who was such an inspiration for many of their journeys into the sport. I'm Ollie Wilson, ringside, alongside me on COCOMS, the ferocious Daryl Williams, super middleweight fighter, 30 to 0, undefeated, six knockouts. And at ringside, we are joined by Sofia Di Stefano. And Daryl, a pleasure to have you alongside me for what should be a thrilling night of action. Yeah, definitely. Um it feels good to be on the other side of the ring this time. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you won't be taking too many punches. or We are quite close to the action here, yeah, I have to say. We are very close to the action. No, no, no punches today. No punches. I'm sure I can handle that. Well, I'm sure we're going to be safe and sound in our position for a thrilling night of boxing. Let's get the action underway tonight. Very interesting fight coming up in Dean Miles. Cash. Mr. Warren. Six rounds. Middleweight boxing, our first six round fight of the night. This is the weight contest of six three rounds. As you see in the red corner, wearing the black and white shorts, wearing a day at the Let's head down to Mark Schmidt. Mr. Warren from Huddersfield, eight victories, four by knockout, four draws, 12 defeats, seven by knockout. He's fought some very difficult fighters in his seven year career. And he does say that he perhaps needs to do a little more with this cash to take it up to any sort of championship level. Let's see if he can just up the ante this evening. It's a fighter that knows certainly how to tough it out. Six rounds of underweight boxing. And we are underweight. Mr. Warren in the black trunks with silvery trim. And that's Cash. Black trunks with that fluorescent and white trim. Cash. Immediately with a couple of good blows around the head. They're trading knocks though. Both of them very aggressive to start here. This, this fight looks like it's personal. <laughs> right round the side of the head, right in front of us. That just not Cash. They're both catching each other quite cleanly. Uh, this this might not last long. You can't tell which way it's going to go yet because, as you say, Daryl, trading blows at the moment. No real pattern to it either. They're just getting very close into each other. Fists almost flying. Slight lack of control, as you see there. Another good right, though, around the head of Cash. Warren catching him, getting underneath as well. Cash fights back, though. This is a very appealing fight, you know. You know entertainment from the start. Six rounds might not be too much longer. <laughs> meant to be one of the longer fights on the card this evening. Warren Lowe's going low. Managed to avoid a big sweeping hand coming round over the top of his head before rising back up. Ducked by Cash just to get away from the ropes. If they stay at this pace, someone's definitely going to go. Just catching Warren there. Starts to try and get back into the body. Cash doing the same though. One low, two up high. I think, I think Cash wants to start hitting him to the body now. He's slowing him down. I think he's, he, he's, got, he's got... Warren seems like he's almost trying to drain the tank immediately here. Yeah, exactly that. The arms have barely stopped flying. I think, I think Cash should play on that and, and, and hit him to the body now. Stopping right in the stride, there you go. 
Well, we are close here, ringside. If he's having a to listen to what you're saying there, Daryl is just digging under. Nice shot to the body as Warren comes back and they're split apart for the moment. First real break in punches that we've seen. Warren almost trying to bulldoze his way through. Can't get round the side. Good guard by Cash. Very nice jab going back, Cash. He wants to keep that left hand up, though. Every time he seems to drop it, he gets caught over the top with the right hand. Again. Fight his way out of the corner. Left lands flush in the face. Right comes over the top. Trading blows here, though. Seconds out. Exciting a frantic round. start to the opening round here. Darrell, in your professional opinion, Cash or Warren, they both came out very quickly indeed. Just to me, it seemed like Warren was in the edge in terms of the cleaner blows landing. Yeah, I think um, I think Warren won that round, to be honest. Um, you know, he landed the cleaner shots. As you say, Darrell, breathing quite heavily, but Cash 2 took a fair few blows in that one. Very red faced at the moment. Interesting to see how these two come out. Warren again quick to get on the front foot, try and get Cash back on the ropes. Goes low, lands a couple up high. Cash trying to fight back and fight out of it. Nice left foot counter there. Just a right, trying to squeeze up underneath. Takes a couple of shots though, Warren there. Full in the face. Cash looks like he's trying to make some space now. He's uh, get a bit of distance from the opponent. Yes. Wait. pick it up. Warren's just slowed down in the last 10, 15 seconds or so. Left, man's flush. Another one just catches the side of the face from Cash. Warren seems like he's just trying to land, land a big bomb now. Try and take him out quickly. He's still trying to almost bulldozer his way forward and getting close. And Cash as he starts to make a bit of space. Just been able to land a couple round the side and straight down the middle. Right hand over the back of the head though from Warwick. to emphasize those body shots now. As Warren comes in, just catch him in the way of them. Especially if you're tired after throwing plenty of punches and then getting one in the gut like that. There you go again. Knocked the wind out of him. And Warren does look a little more drained and tired at the moment. Spring's just gone slightly. There you go again from Cash here. Yeah. Once again, landing low. Just able to bounce away slightly from his opponent. You've got to keep that lead hand up though, Cash. Getting caught with the right hand way too much. Nice body shot again from Cash. Almost rolling off the ropes in the corner, those two. Threading who's going to be the aggressor. That left hand just rattling the jaw slightly, that wasn't. Too much pullback in it as Warren comes over the top with the right hand. Round two's out. Warren sees animal like. Um, Still might, might have got out on the wrong side of bed today. <laughs> A very impressive performance against the Black Country banger Lennox Clark in Birmingham last month. That's the Warren. He's putting another good show on here as round three gets going. More control from Warren initially as they start to trade blows again. That right hand coming round the side. 
from Warren catching cash. You can hear Cash's corner telling him, keep your distance as another two right hands land on the head. It looks very hard for um, Cash to keep distance in, in this sort of fight. You know, Warren is literally just walking forward, doesn't care what's coming back. He's able to miss a hefty right from Cash there as he came almost walking straight onto it. I suppose with that sort of style in this fight coming forward, no matter what, does leave himself very exposed when Cash does get the distance initially. Nice shot, getting close, a good shot there from Cash, and he's getting on the aggressive, and Warren could be in trouble here on the ropes, taking shots around the head and the body. Trying to protect himself, Warren. Cash has perhaps got an opportunity here. Warren gets himself off the ropes, trying to just clinch up, stay in tight. Really tough guy, Warren, to, to withstand that onslaught there. I think Pretty he's had it, close. though. I do think he's had it. He's, he's, he's the arms don't have any power in the blows that are coming over the top now. Legs are gone. He's almost leaning in. Cash has got to take the opportunity. Warren's trying to fight himself out of this and stay in this one as he's get Cash back on the ropes, limiting the distance, not giving him the reach. Cash, though, gets him back in the corner. I think those body shots took it out of Warren. And again, when there's that space, that's when Cash can capitalise, but give him the credit, Alistair Warren, that he's due for that. Great, great contest this one. He just keeps coming forward and taking the shots until he can almost have a breather by running down a few blows Ka close and tight in. Ka Cash needs to work inside there. He, need, he needs to let his hands go in the middle there, even if it's just... Just slightly touching shots just to the body, just to keep tapping him up. There you go. Lovely Empty right. See, right now, he should just be working some touching shots there, just on the inside, just tapping, tapping. It's just not going here, Warren, though. Relentless in his pursuit of Miles Cash. And a very impressive round to stay on his feet there from Warren. Tell you what, three rounds into this, yeah. if we go the six, I'll be very surprised indeed. It'll be, I'll be surprised if this does go all the way through the you know, round. Round four then. Warren was quick on his feet and quick out of the corner. Cash in the black trunks with the yellow trim. Continue being told to keep distance as Warren tries that big right hand, looking for a kill shot. Might be all he has left if he starts to take another onslaught, as he did in the third. He's certainly been the aggressor. Cash needs to keep that jab going if he wants to keep the distance. He's got to keep that jab on him. Nice shot from one. Certainly a fight that those already in your call tonight treated too early on in our cut. Right and the left and then inside from Warren. The man from Huddersfield isn't giving up his pursuit of Cash. Cash really needs to keep that left hand up. It, it, it could be could be a lot of trouble for him if he doesn't. Seemingly leaning in a lot on Warren when they get close. Just allowing Warren to take his weight and giving himself a slight breather cash. At times he seems like he's happy to just let this one get paused for the moment. He's separated back and then try and get the range, but Warren comes again. This has been a hard, hard four round so far. He's going to give first though. Able to lean away from that left, but still caught by a Caffoli. Fires back with a couple of lefts of his own. Nice flurry by Warren, just catching Cash around the side of the head with a couple of right hands. 
keeping him at bay with the left. Cash trying to fight his way out of trouble. Cash is caught there. He's caught on the uh, side of the eye. Left eye cut. No surprise considering the bashing that he's taken with that right hand. Warren seeing it and going after it. He needs to keep his left hand up. His corner should address that when he, when he gets back. He's only got around about 30 seconds or so to hold on in this fourth. As Warren's aggressive again. It's that step forward into the punches initially when they get close that Warren just keeps bringing. And Cash might be he's in trouble. Back with punch. Warren is continually swinging. And there's no real reply from Cash. Got to retaliate quicker. Punches keep raining down. Nothing too heavy in the final 10 seconds or so from Warren, but an impressive round for the man from Huddersfield. His coaching team, Alistair Warren, were very keen for him to emphasise that to get out of the corner quickly, get the chair away, and show that he's okay for yes. round five. An unknown territory now for Miles Cash. Mentally, that's going to drain Cash as well, seeing him get up like that. Looks to fire quickly with a couple of blows early on, but Warren straight away getting into Cash again. And left hand just coming up and defending away from that right club of Warren. Not for too long as another lands. When, when Warren smothers like that, I think Cash needs to look for uppercuts through the middle, maybe to the body, maybe to the chin. But he's got to throw something. He can't just let him dictate. Right, left got through as the right followed up. Another flurry of punches around the head. Right catches him just on the cheek. Cash again trying to fight out of it with a straight left, but because there's no stopping with Warren, Unbelievable physical fitness from him. Just keep the punches going. They are getting slightly weaker though. Warren has set a pace that a lot of fighters couldn't keep up with, to be fair. Cash finding a bit of aggression from somewhere. Can't deny Cash is hot here. You say he needs that pace, but it's just, it's not coming at all for Cash in terms of getting any separation. Warren steps so quick, just straight into him. Cash stood still and Warren comes straight advancing. Now though, Cash with a couple of good shots and keeps it going. And suddenly yeah, Warren I think is he might have got the second win. And he gets one, a big right round the side of the face. Warren trying to fight out of it. And another barrage like we saw in the third. Warren is one tough customer. The crowd is really behind Miles Cash, it seems. Warren suddenly looks a lot more drained for a moment. But he comes back out in that style that we've seen all through these opening five rounds. Get straight back in tight. But Cash, you feel, just has an opportunity if he can land a couple more before the end of this fifth to take the momentum back in his favour going into the final round. What an incredible fight. Great, great, great fight. I think everybody around us at ringside was saying after the first and second round, there was no way this was going to go to six, <laughs> especially with the way they were coming out. The pace really, aside from when each fighter's been caught and slowed down slightly, hasn't let up at all. And when he's had those moments, those flurries, and has really shaken Warren, as we've seen, it's perhaps given him advantage, or is this just too close to call at the moment, Darren? Uh, for, for me, on an on unofficial scorecard, I'd say Warren is ahead of God. Okay. <laughs> He's yes. kept his pressure constant, kept his punches constant. Round six of six. Oh, we 
going to have a grandstand finish to this one. Come on, Cash! Let's go! Come on, Miley! Come on, now get on it! Now get on it! When you turn him... Cash looks as if he's got his legs back now. He's got his breath back a bit. Warren just seems like he's allowing him that little bit of extra space. Well, just as you say that, he suddenly tries to cash tight in on the ropes. Quick volley from Cash. He's just staying moving. It's like he's saved a little bit extra for this final round. Really impressive for a fighter that hasn't gone the distance before, gone to six rounds. To not only take the barrage he's taken, but still have energy in this final round. And if anything, you'd say at the moment, I think, Daryl, that Warren in this last round is just the slightly slower of the two. Yeah, well, Warren has slowed down a bit in this last round. He's still, he's still coming forward, he's still trying to be the aggressor, but uh, Cash definitely has, has got his um, legs back under him and his breath back, it's and fine. he's boxing really well in this last round. Finding a bit of range with those shots, just doing enough to keep that separation that yeah. is required all fight. Yeah, now, now that Warren has slowed down a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit easier for him to keep the space at the minute. about a minute or so unofficially left this final round is Warren again unable to land the quick volleys of punches that we've seen earlier looking for a big right there as Cash just sunk into the rope slightly good shot, a good right shot by Cash just left himself a little more exposed in this final round Alistair Warren treat of a fight what you can only describe as a slobber knocker between these two definitely the most entertaining so far it's what the people of London came here to see final few seconds of the sixth those fighters are slow, but they want to leave something for the judges to remember on the scorecards, and that's what they're doing. A stellar fight between these two. And one that perhaps might be tough to call for the judges, but Daryl, are you sticking with Alistair Warren because he was the aggressor through the first four, especially? Yeah, I, I, I personally think um, Warren did, did, did most of the work there. Um, he was the aggressor. Um, even, a, even as he got caught, he still continued to uh, let off the punches. And you can tell in the ring that he thinks that he's done it. Let's go down to Mark Schmidt. Mr. Warren does take it then. It's the first loss for Miles Cash. Who can get the feeling left everything out there. Well, he looks delighted down there with Sophia. Let's see what Alistair Warren has to say after a very impressive victory. Um, oh, you say it's your first interview. Congratulations. That you're off the back of uh, being stopped three times in your last four fights. So good to get back to winning ways. It's only been five years since I won a fight. <laughs> I mean, I've. Everyone I've lost has been decent. I always train hard, I put 100% in. Uh, it's good to finally finally get back to winning again. It's quite a war out there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all I like. I love to go to war. I, I make every fight hard for myself. You know, and it just felt really good tonight to finally win again. Do you, do you think it all boiled down to the fact that it was just the first time he's ever been six rounds? Do you think stamina played a part? Because obviously think, you have gone the duration. I think, it, I mean, I've got a good engine. I've put a lot of pressure on it. I like to try and be relentless and I felt they were tiring after a couple of rounds and um, I mean like I say every, 
everyone I've lost to over the past few years has been sort of top ten. You know, gone on to be British. Well, You've been in the lights with Chris yeah, Eubank yeah. Jr. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's no shame in losing to guys like that. Um, it just feels great to finally win again. Everyone tell me I'm never going to win a fight again. I need to retire. <laughs> but never, never give up on your dreams. <laughs> uh, well, it's a great venue to do it in. Congratulations. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Thanks.